is bigger on the left side and smaller at the right side to get this perspective look. Let's name it Pills Area. Okay. And set the opacity to 10%. Okay, now let's turn off the visibility of this composition layer and and let's go to Illustrator to copy our vector shape in my case my logo inside this Photoshop and let's turn on the composition layer and place the logo in this area to make sure it's aligned properly let's command a control a on PC to select all the canvas and click here align horizontally so now we are sure that it's in the middle of of the composition now here we have our pills let's copy those because uh, this folder we need to keep as a backup just in case so we will not work on those shapes let's copy those and group them again and name it just pill stream now we can turn off the visibility of those pills original and so next we need to take those pills and place it inside this red guide starting here and finishing here on the left side the pills will be big and on the right side there will be small so each time we will control or command click uh, the pill and with alt pressed on your keyboard drag drag it down to our composition and duplicate it at the same time scale it and rotate it each one a little different so the viewer doesn't see two identical pills and we need to remember that we need to keep the basic basic uh, rule of perspective so if the pill is bigger than another pill it needs to be on top of this pill if it is smaller it needs to be behind those pill so handy shortcuts for this um, will be command shift right bracket or control shift right bracket to send the layer on top right here of the uh, layers panel and the other one is command shift left bracket or control shift left bracket to send the pill um, to the bottom of the of the layers palette so there we go with another one rotate it so this one I need to put on top of other ones so I'll I hit uh, shift command right bracket so now this layer I am operating uh, is on top of the layers palette and I can put it above the rest I hope you guys get the point the general rule is anytime you want to put a big pill on top of uh, the rest uh, you hit uh, command shift control shift right bracket and the layer goes on top of the group um, in layers palette and every time you need to put a small pill uh, which is behind the other pills uh, you, you, you place it and hit uh, command shift and left bracket so it goes uh, to the bottom of, of the layers uh, palette and, um, and it goes behind all the rest this process took me um, about 40 minutes so it's boring and I thought you might like to see this in fast forward um, to make the the whole tutorial shorter and to not bore you to death so right now in fast forward you will see how I compose those pills as you can see 
at the left side I put a really big one to catch the attention of the viewer so if he looks to the left he sees this giant pill and as you can see the the further right we get the pills get smaller and smaller here I have decided that some pills should be uh, should be on top of the logo and some should be behind the logo to get this um, to get this 3d look so what I did was creating a new group uh, a new group under the logo and name it pill stream behind and what I did here I, I just put some uh, white fill behind the logo and linked it so the logo is not transparent and some pills are behind the logo as you can see and some pills are on top so all you need to do is to create another group uh, behind in, behind the logo under the logo and put some pills in there too okay so let's jump forward and forward some some last corrections here and okay here we have our pill stream okay so first of all let's take a look what do we have here uh, we have our main folder main group with pills in which we have a lot of layers those layers are out of control totally but that's okay for now we got our logo with uh, this white solid behind you might like to group them as well and name the group logo we got our pills which are behind this this logo and we got our pills original let's keep this folder just in case so now we will add some shadow to those pills to exaggerate this uh, 3D look okay so first let's uh, pick a pill um, on which we will like to put the shadow uh, let's say this pill first so control click or command click on Mac uh, to pick this layer here we have it and some keyboard shortcuts now which will speed up our work first we have to um, create new layer so uh, control shift or command shift N and don't name it you you don't need to name it and then let's hit control alt G or command alt G as you can see this is now this layer is clipped so everything we will uh, paint on this layer will be visible only on the layer um, below it as you can see okay now pick your brush tool and with a very very soft brush and with opacity set to 10 or 5 paint some shadows on this pill let's say here and here we need to simulate the real shadows casted by uh, pills above this one and here okay now let's pick this pill control shift or command shift and N now command alt G or control alt G B for brush and paint some shadows here and here now let's pick another one 
and the same procedure here so this is a very very long process I will not bore you to death um, with uh, showing you how I did that in real time so uh, here's a little fast forward for you as you can see I'm creating those uh, layers with uh, command shift N or control shift N then I clip them and by command shift G uh, sorry command alt G or control alt G and with uh, soft brush with opacity set to 10 or 5 I paint some very subtle shadows this is um, as well time for making some um, subtle adjustments to the to the position of the pills if you see some kind of mistake in positioning any of the pill then correct it this is a good time for for that now also which I did in a few cases you will see that further I also decided that I will add some shadow to the logo with uh, the same way so click the logo clip a shadow layer above it and, and paint it in some shadows and mer more right you go and the smaller the pill you're operating with the smaller the brush also so um, here I'm operating with uh, a much smaller brush than at the early earlier stages of this process right here I had to compose again those pills because uh, smaller pill was above the bigger one and that's uh, that's a mistake as you can see we get a lot of dimension and 3d because of making those shadows and it starts to really pop out if you want to make it very very precise you should probably work uh, zoomed in a little bit and with small brush on small pills you can also try harder brush than the soft one uh, the result of this is really interesting I chose a soft one here but with hard brush it looks really cool also more synthetic and plastic like okay so last corrections here and there we have it almost Let's recompose some of those. Okay, so here we have our pills with shadows.